What's up, YouTube and Privileged Ones? Hello and welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Valorant. And in today's episode for Valorant, Riot Games' brand new IP, this game is a PC exclusive. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to not use a mouse and a keyboard. I'm going to teach you guys how to use a controller. That's right. Now, really quick background information for this. I am using an account from a friend, Lichburnt. Twitch.tv forward slash Lichburnt is his channel. I'll have it linked down below in the description. Go and check him out. Huge shout out to Lich for even giving me access to this game. Because right now, it is not easy to get access to the closed beta. We are in the closed beta. It is a PC exclusive game made by Riot Games. They're the makers of League of Legends. They're really good in developing video games. They have a great IP over at League of Legends already. And with that being said, they also understand esports. So them even coming up with a first person shooter CSGO styled game is absolutely amazing. On top of that, it's got heroes that have abilities kind of like Overwatch. So it's a mixture between Overwatch and CSGO. The sad thing is, is it's only a PC exclusive title. So only being able to play PC is somewhat difficult for most people out there that like playing console. Due to the simple fact is, is they hate playing games on a mouse and a keyboard. Well, for that, I hope to be able to fix that problem today, and I'm going to try to make this tutorial quick, simple, and to the point. I'm going to test out this controller for you guys. As you can see, it is working with Valorant. I have not gotten kicked off the servers by playing Valorant with a controller because this is actually going to my computer as if this was a mouse and a keyboard. And I'm going to teach you the program downloading the program and the steps to being able to program this controller into a mouse and a keyboard with a couple of simple steps. First off, the link that you're going to want to go to is down below in the description. And we are going to go to that link right now. It's rewasd.com. And you're going to want to click on the how to use tab. So all you have to do is click that big yellow download button, guys. Click it and then it will download. And once it downloads, you're then going to want to open up the program. Opening up the program, it's not going to look exactly like this. I've got Xbox 360 selected. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open it up and it's going to be on desktop. It's going to be on this screen. You don't want to just click the three line buttons up at the top while your Xbox controller is plugged in. And you're going to want to just go down to switch to Xbox 360. Switching to Xbox 360, it'll have this screen. Then click on the game pad, which is right here where I'm circling. Click that and it'll bring up the game pad. That's how you get to that screen. It's really easy. Then from there, you can click each individual button on the controller and you can remap it by simply pressing the button or using your mouse to change it. Or you can go in through a list of options and then change it manually that way. For example, if we wanted to reconfigure Y on the Xbox 360 controller to say, uh, I don't know, V, we could by simply clicking the drop down menu and going to V. And then now it's configured. All you'd have to do to save that is press apply. And then it's done. Or you can go in and you can just click Y. And while the menu is open for Y, see menu changes, you click the Y button and then you just press. There you go. Change it to X. Now we've got E, we've got X, we've got C, and then we've got Q. X is going to be the ultimate ability. So the Y button on the controller is now the ultimate ability for any of the characters inside of the game of Valorant. And then obviously the joystick, we've got the joystick here, the directional points, the four directional points of the joystick. Guess what that is? For the left joystick, it's WASD. You're going to want to do that because it's just going to make everything perfect and fit for WASD. W being forward, so the forward motion is W. This motion is going to be A for moving left, right is going to be D, and then obviously S is going to be for going down. And then same thing for here, mouse movements, mouse up, 
mouse left, mouse down, and mouse right. Then for the main buttons for the L3 joystick, I actually have for uh, left shift. Left shift in the game is actually for sprinting. So if I hold the joystick down, I'll sprint. If I hold the right joystick down, I've got that set for control. And the left control button on the keyboard for Valorant is to crouch. So if I hold and press the right joystick, I'm gonna crouch. So if I'm in a gunfight, I can just press and spam the joystick and I can move up and down. And that helps for stopping people from shooting me in the head. Um, other than that, the controller configuration you have a back and a front controller so we've got the front controller showing we've got the back controller here and i'm not going to configure the triggers because i don't have any triggers on this controller it's not an xbox elite but that's fine you don't have to configure them from there you're just going to want to go and press apply once you've got your whole controller mapped out to every single button that you need in the game to play the game efficiently have those all mapped out on the controller, figure out the best map that suits you, and then press apply. It'll load, and once it's done loading, if your setting on the app is set to vibrate, the controller will vibrate, you just go into the game, and uh, you can use the mouse still. I got the mouse going. Uh, really, really sensitive mouse. Or you can have the controller go on. You can change the sensitivity um, in the game settings to really map this out, or you can even go into um, you can go into the settings on the actual application that you use to program this controller, and you can do it that way. Um, there's a lot of different ways to really hone and tune the controller to fit your needs inside of any game that you're playing on the con on the computer. So this helps you for all you controller players out there that want to play Valorant and are upset that it's only on PC. You now can play on PC. The only thing that I would like to state in this video, and it's a huge disclaimer, Valorant is a PC exclusive game and there is no aim assist support in this game whatsoever. And the reason why you normally need aim assist on a controller is it's a little bit more touchy than a mouse and a keyboard. And what I mean by that is you're a lot less precise. And for having aim assist, that allows you to have a lot more fluid motion going towards a body in a game and being able to shoot them and hit your target. You're also not going to be able to have the reticle off of them and still hit them. There's no aim assist whatsoever, none. So that's a huge disclaimer. I just want you guys to know that while you're using re -W -A -S -D, I don't want you guys to be like, oh my God, I can't hit anything. It's just not going to be easy. You're going to have to get used to it. It's going to be a whole different thing. It's not going to be like playing on a console. Believe me when I say that, it's not going to be like playing on a console. It is going to allow you to have your controller but it's still going to be different and you're going to have to get used to it. Again, though, this is a program that will allow all you console players that want a controller to play any PC game and it's not going to get you banned. There's, there's the whole thing to this whole thing. You just don't want to get banned, but you want to play the PC game, but you don't want to use a mouse and a keyboard. I understand it. I get it. I get it. I mean, a mouse, I love mouse. I mean, like, look at this. I could flick it. I could flick it like crazy. You can't get that fast on a controller. Even if you max out the settings, you still won't get that fast on a controller. But hey, we're using a controller in Valorant. That's all that matters. I'm gonna stop ranting now. For all you players out there that this video helped, please smash a like on the video, subscribe for future Valorant content here on the channel, and I will try to keep you up to date on everything Valorant and also other games that I play on the channel. Any of you Destiny 2 players out there, I'm still going to cover Destiny 2. Don't worry, okay? I'm still here. I love you guys so much. As always, for every single one of you, though, if you want to keep up to date, 
hit the like button, leave a comment down below letting me know you like the content, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notified, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay violent and be privileged.